Hi, Sven here. In this video, I want to go over some of the basic concepts in WebNI Page Builder. So let's open our main menu and expand the Page Builder application. So here we have a couple of modules that make up the Page Builder application. Um, let's go into the Categories module first. So the Categories module allows you to organize your pages in specific categories. Um, out of the box, you'll find a static category here but we can create as many categories as you want. Let's open the static category just so you see some of the main concepts uh, inside it. So a category has a name and a slug, uh, but also it has a URL. This is a URL prefix. Um, how this works is uh, that, uh, let's say you have a, a category called blog posts and you want all of the pages inside that category uh, to start with a slash blog slash prefix for their URLs, right? So you would create the blog post um, category and you would give here a blog uh, prefix for the URL. So whenever a user now creates a, a new entry inside that category, the URL that gets generated will automatically start uh, with this prefix. Also, what you can do is uh, set a specific layout for all of the pages in that category. So when a new page gets created, this is the default layout that's going to be assigned to that page. But inside the page settings, the user can overwrite if they want to. So this is one way to organize our, our content into specific categories. Now, <clears throat> the next module that we're going to go into are actually templates. So Templates are used as a starting point when you want to create a new page. So whenever you go and click the new page button, um, the system is going to ask you, hey, which template do you want to use for this page? The templates allow you to get that nice starting point uh, for your new page instead of starting off a blank canvas. So you can have templates that are used to allow you to structure your content visually so that let's say all of the blog posts follow a same visual structure all of the let's say product landing pages follow another visual structure so with this with templates you can create a template for the product pages and then whenever you want to create a product page you will select that template and that's going to give you that starting point now i'm going to talk more about templates in depth in another video so in this video i just want to explain the basic concept of templates um, jumping slightly above here we have blocks and block categories so whenever you build a page build a page you start with a concept of a block a block can be imagine like a hero block or a call to action block or a list of team members that's also a block right so blocks are intended to be reusable building components for your page right oftentimes you have these components on your website that you use in multiple places right uh, so you don't want to rebuild those components every time you create a new page and you need that same component Instead, you create those reusable components as blocks um, inside the system. And then in your pages, you just pull them in and use them there. Blocks, uh, because oftentimes users have a lot of blocks in the system, hundreds or so. Uh, in certain cases, uh, we also enable uh, users to categorize those blocks. So blocks have their own categories. So here, for example, we have a hero block category. And then if you go on the blocks, click on the hero blocks, we'll see which blocks we have inside, right? So we can have then multiple blocks here and we can create new blocks in this category. And if we need more categories, again, through block categories, uh, we do that. Um, similarly to the page templates, I'm going to talk more about blocks in a dedicated video because there's a lot to them from variables to content inheritance, overrides and many, many other concepts. But in this video, again, just touching base on the high level concepts. And uh, lastly, we got menus. So menus are, it's a module, it's an optional module uh, where 
uh, users can build their own menu structures, right? So we can have a menu structure that uh, has a list of pages or a menu that references a specific page or uh, let's say, hey, let's add a menu that says go to Google and then here we have, let's say, a URL like that, but underneath that we have, um, let's say, uh, a nested folder and under that we can pull a specific page from the system and put it in that folder right this allows you to then build up these nested menu structures which then you can pull uh, onto your front-end applications um, some users use that other users prefer to code their own dedicated menus so if you open our website for example webinar.com we have this whole page has been built with the page builder by the way uh, so on the top you'll find our menu uh, in our case we decided to go with a dedicated menu so we could have more uh, control over the rendering and the visual style of it right but still some users find this module handy and lastly the core of the page builder uh, are the pages right so here you will have a list of all your pages uh, you can uh, click on a page to see the preview of that page uh, you can see how many revisions it has uh, how the, the page changes through the revisions you can go and preview all the versions of a page and again you can view a page set it as a home page duplicate a page delete publish unpublish edit and all other um, controls right but um, the pages are the core of the page builder application because you set up all the other structures to eventually then go and build those pages um, i will talk in a dedicated video again um, more about uh, this ui here which is what we call uh, advanced content organization um, it's a uh, an application that's sitting on top of the page builder application allowing you to organize your content into different structures so i'm going to talk in a dedicated video all about that uh, for this video i just wanted to touch base on a high level concepts and uh, explain what they are so please follow the the rest of the tutorials here to get a full grasp of the page builder that's it for now thank you